Hello, and welcome back to some more Genshin Impact. So, uh, before I do anything else, I'm going to claim my rewards that I was not able to claim before. So let's start off with this right here. I'm going to claim that, finally. Uh, I'm going to check this out. Thanks to the joint effort, uh, thanks to a joint effort, the party finds the key to solving the final riddle. The truth behind these islands is now within reach, but Klee seems to be more anxious than ever. What is the truth that has quietly sat in wait all this time? Uh, so first of all, I've already completed all these, right? That's completely done. This one right here, I still have uh, those to do. I'm not worried about that too much, but I'm just pointing that out. And then this one... Defeat a, mag a Magu Kenki without being hit by its mask attacks. Long range attacks can trigger the Magu Kenki's mask parry. Defeat it without triggering this parry. And defeat the Magu Kenki. I, th I think I'm saying that right. Without being hit by its phantom attacks. Uh, so the only ones that I'm confident in doing are these two right here. And then the rest of them, uh, these three right here, I'm not really all that confident in. But I'll try anyways. Uh, I'm not going to worry about those too much. I'm pretty sure that they'll appear as icons on the map now. Uh, at least I would think so. Yeah, there's one right there in the center. Uh, so what I'm going to do is my goal here this time is to explore this island right here. Uh, possibly even this island. And do some more of these and at least one or two of... Uh, two of these things. So I'm actually going to start off with fighting this Magu Kenki enemy again. Or <laughs> however you say it. Weird name that they gave it. But... If I had... Oh, this... The reason why this guy is so much harder... I just realized it. It's because he's, uh... It's because he's a... What do you call it? Level... 40 something. And even... It even costs all this. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Confirm. I didn't even realize that he was one of those types of enemies. Marionette core, huh? Uh, let's check out this very fast. Claim a uh, prize that I can claim. So I defeated two of those and defeated Magu Kenki without being hit by its mask attacks. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to do the other two. Uh, Long-range attacks can trigger the Magu Kenki's Mask Fairy. Defeat it without triggering that. And uh, for some reason, I didn't even see uh, myself getting hit by its phantom attacks. But somehow I did, so. Uh, so what I'll do is I'm going to heal up. Uh, what's his name? I'll heal up all of them, actually. There. And from there, I'm going to go ahead and head to that place, which requires me to get on board this boat. Where did that echoing conch come from? I just noticed Strange it. Strange com component. Oh. Razor hungry. Hungry for fish. Water on the left and on the right more water oh now that's interesting so now i can actually probably find more echoing conches on these islands i'm gonna make sure that uh there aren't any additional ones on this island very fast i wasn't expecting that so that explains you may remember there's a ham on this island right here uh that might actually now be available for me to uh to activate. There we go. Okay. Now that I've done that, let's go over to this island over here very fast. Hopefully I don't have to defeat the enemies to activate this. Yeah, it cannot be performed during combat. Darn you, game. It's a, it sucks a little bit that I had to fight against these guys, but... It's fine. I'm gonna freeze when I touch the water. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't freeze. 
I'm gonna collect my prizes. I'm a little bit irritated. Okay. D Luke, you're a man who knows his own mind. So help me decide. Is it seabird hunting time? Or seashell collecting time? <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Come now, D Luke, be nice. Do you really want to stay here and do nothing at all? We might as well find a way to pass the time. I simply thought collecting seashells might be fun. It was last time. Although, we were much younger then. <laughs> I didn't know you still remembered anything from back then. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Um, may as well claim my rewards for this. I only need three more before I can claim the outfit. Uh, Conch Retrospection. So there's... I've got all these. Um, now I've got one of those two... All three of these. That's good. Most of the... I've not got any... Or I don't have enough of those, rather. I didn't get any of these, unfortunately. I don't know what's going on there. And I've got most of those, so... I'm making progress. Uh... Only 11 more Echoing Conches to go. I'm gonna make a wish. Because why not? Oh, I have quite a few Primogens. Eh. Come on. Darn new game. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, now that I've done that... I said that I was going to go ahead and explore this island, and that is exactly what I'm going to do. I don't know how much of this island I'm going to explore, because I want to kind of do, you know, the next part of the story as well. But uh, I will explore enough of this island that I'll feel satisfied. Okay, so first things first, let's get that echoing conch, wherever it might be. I may have to teleport back up to the top after I grab it, but... Uh, I don't see it yet. Is that it right there? I think that's it. Yeah. Hey, careful! You can't go napping here. You'll catch a cold. Go on, I'll take over. How is the sea? Anything to report? Hmm? Uh, I must have fallen asleep. Oh, uh, don't worry. No sign of the tide coming in so far. Okay, so what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to explore the area at the bottom first thoroughly, and then I'm going to go up to the top, because otherwise I'll drive myself nuts. So let's explore this little island over here uh, very fast, since I can immediately see some stuff. I, no, I'll do this first. Deal with these guys. Oh, crap. My royal decree... Order guide you. I was uh, caught off guard by how much damage it dealt to official there. There we go. And it should die pretty fast now. Although it sucks that I'm gonna have to heal official here. Okay. And I may as well grab this treasure chest, too, since I'm right here. There we go. I wish that those were a little bit more creative. Like, the first time it was okay, the second time it was okay, but now it's become like, eh, they could be a lot better. Okay, so there's an echoing conch over here. And I'm going to get it if I can. Look at that. There's even a, uh, a challenge up here. 
Oh, look at that. I remember this. There was this weird markings on the wall. It doesn't say that I have to observe them, though. Which is weird. Uh, that proves, though, that this island used to be submerged completely, so... Because I remember those markings distinctly. Quick! Sound the alarm! The tide is coming in! Okay. High tide warning according to the conch. Uh, I'll start this. Why not? Open the treasure chest in 90 seconds. <gasps> eh. It almost didn't let me uh, glide there again. Okay. Well, this is weird. Whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Although I am a little bit disappointed that I didn't get the chance to properly explore that island. I'll have to go back to it again later. I'll explore this one first. Since I'm already here. Uh, well... It's not an island, is it? Ah. I'm gonna make sure that I get anything that's the sun's rising. It should be about time to check on the fish. Let's meet up with everyone first. So let's see very fast. Uh all the way over there. So I'll just have to remember that when the time comes. So maybe this is what I remember saying. Because there's still water in there. The water level can be raised or lowered. The question is, what for? The water level must be connected to some something else around here. Let's check this area out. Maybe we can find some clues. Okay, cool. So by stepping on this rock, I can raise or lower the water level. I'm going to have to come back here a little bit later, uh, because unfortunately it won't go down any lower. I mean, I could keep stepping on this. Yeah, but it won't go up any higher. That's weird. I'm going to have to mark that with a little quest icon there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take advantage of this to go explore this over here. There's so much to do in this crazy place. What is up with these? Wait a second, I think I understand. Could I be wrong? So, you got these weird those weird buttons that are made out of rocks and I wish they made them a little bit more obvious that they were actually buttons and not rocks uh, that could raise or lower the water level and they're obviously important in some way Solidify. and that will go down into that interesting so that that is a puzzle that spans all of those. And I can safely say that I've already uh, completed the top part of this island before because of these torches. So I don't need to go up any higher. Uh, I just need to mark this right here. So if I... So if I do that... Interesting. I think I'll set this to three. Okay. And now that I've set that to three, I'm going to try to fly back over to there. I'm going to set this at two. And then the last one, wherever it might be, uh which I think it's over here. I'll set that to whatever I need to set it to later. So I'm going to set 
that up like that. Interesting. I may actually not... I may not actually explore this whole island this time. This island has a lot going on with it. Uh, a lot more than I thought it uh, did. But I will try to solve this little puzzle that I'm on right now. Because I think that I figured it out. So the general idea is, is that the tallest one I gave the uh, level 3. And then the shortest one I'm going to give level 1. And it's already on level 1. Okay, then I don't know. Ah, I'm confused. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Uh, so I'm going to set up this right here. There might be another couple of them there and there. So uh, I'm going to go over to the story quest now. The exploration. I'm kind of taken out by the exploration aspect right now. Uh, let me see something very fast. Riddle, huh? Let's set the time to six. Okay. And there they are. Honorary Knight, over here! How are the fish? As we suspected, they were drawn to the crystal. Catchy, catchy fish! Uh, no, no! Uh, to keep Klee from blowing up the fish to pieces, perhaps it'd be better to let us catch the fish? After all, we're experts at collecting all manner of wildlife. Uh, catch the fish to obtain the scales, okay? That's yeah. it. And that's all of them. We should have all the fish scales now. That wasn't too hard. I don't know why they had us collect them. Pale red scale, pale... Okay, this is dumb. I don't know why they didn't just have you use the gems. It would have made more sense in my opinion, but whatever. Mr. Honorary Knight, are you going to place the fish scales? Yep. Too bad I can't reach that high. Then I'll be your helping hand. When you say, now, I'll place it, all right? Okay. Uh, wait a second. I hope I don't have to time this. But actually, I don't really understand this part. So if you place them for me, it'll be fine. I trust you. Then we'll place the fish scales and let Klee activate the final and most important mechanism. Okie dokie. I'm gonna finally see you, Dodo King. <laughs> Time to see what you really look like. I must say... Klee is incredibly excited. You can do it, Mr. Honorary Knight. I'm cheering for you. Woohoo! Okay, then. Let's, uh, place a yellow scale. No, wait a second. Are you sure about that? Okay, yellow scale goes there. The blue scale goes there. And the red scale obviously goes there. Please. We finished placing the scales. Yay! Amazing! <laughs> it's my turn now, right? Yep! We'll leave that mechanism over there to you, Klee! Okay! Klee. Huh? Please make sure you stay safe. Yep! I got What's wrong? I... I'm worried. What if Dodo King really is in here? And what if he doesn't allow me to become Dodoko's family? Or if I lose to him... Uh... Then Dodoko can't be with me and Mom will be very sad too. Dodoko is my bestest friend that Mom ever gave me. I... I'm too scared to press it. <laughs> Mr. Honorary Knight, can you press the button for me? Clee, I can't help you press it. Why? Because I, I have to hold my weapon. <laughs> this way I can protect you. Yes, we're all here for you. 
Don't worry, Klee. We've all got your back. No matter who the enemy is, as long as we're here, you don't have to be afraid. Perfect. I also want to see how strong the enemies on this island really are. Go. I'm here. Guys, don't say things like that. What if Dodo King just wants to invite Klee to his house to chat? Or, yes, maybe he already approves of Klee. Will he really approve of me? Why wouldn't he? You've always tried your best and have done a good job. Really? Uh, Klee, you're my favoritest friend. All right! Uh... Leave this to me! Press, press, press the button! Look at that. Some kind of, uh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Albedo figured it out. be confused what is this obviously somebody playing a prank this entire island is like a massive gift box hidden beneath the energy shield there seems to be something over there shall we take a look yes i want to look uh unless this is to get us to let our guard down wicked girl of flame you have finally arrived i've waited far too long how very boring. Wait, is that her mother? You dare face me, the overlord of the Dodo clan, Dodo King. Such glorious courage. Though such courage is admirable, but it is now meaningless because... Because Dodo King is me, <laughs> your mother, Alice. Okay. Huh? Mom? person who wrote the Tibet travel guide? Sure. Klee and her fellow islanders. Hey there. So, how did you like it here? Was it fun? Summer skies and the ocean surf. Mm, quite the vacation, no? There's no use looking for me. I'm not actually near you. The speaking device on the platform before you is none other than my personal creation. The Alice phonograph. I'm using it to convey a mother's love. Psychopath. Uh, you can't be serious. Yeah. Hey, I didn't scare you all off, did I? Sorry. Mike Lee loves playing with all sorts of small toys. As her mother, I naturally want to support her. These toys aren't small at all! Please... M mother It's a pity that I can't meet you, but I'll be watching your every move from afar, just as always. It was actually Alice. How careless of me. Wait, what? You might find all of this a bit odd. Why would a mother so far from home expend so much effort to create such an aquatic wonderland? You do realize there are a ton of monsters around here, right? Ding, ding, ding. That's correct. I've personally been to those islands. I absolutely adore the ancient ruins and unique landscapes. I prepared everything so you all could take part and enjoy the islands as well. Klee's mother also seems to have quite the free spirit. <laughs> Are any of you saying bad things about me now? Yes. Uh, no! Is she listening to us? No need to be so troubled. What do you mean? Klee's mother, Alice, is an extremely enigmatic and near-omnipotent sorceress. Don't be overly concerned. This is just her character. You must have been curious about what was behind those letters. The boats, the buoys, the energy shield. Mm, actually, I thought it was a lot of effort, but this was the only way to invite everyone here. Am I right? Now you could have just said, I want you to take my daughter to this place. And some of the people would have agreed at least. The islands are just full of stories. The original inhabitants, shipwrecks, mystical machinery, countless coincidences converge here. It would have been such a waste if I didn't make these arrangements. Now, let me guess. 
everyone who received a letter should be present. Kaya, D. Luke, Razor, Jean, Barbara, and then there's the reliable and intelligent Albedo, and the mysterious traveler and his good companion, Paimon. Wait a second, we never received a letter, I don't think. Am I wrong? You were all invited by me to accompany Klee. Thank you all for allowing my daughter to have a memorable summer. Everything on the islands is a gift for you all, as thanks for keeping my little Klee company. But when you hear this recording, I'll already be traveling in other faraway lands. The life of a traveler is such haste and amusement. <laughs> Ask the traveler next to you and you'll know. So Alice went to all these lengths because she was too busy to be with Klee? No, mom's just like that. Now, everyone, if you're trying to find some hidden meaning in all this, I must tell you that the situation isn't as complicated as you may think. The reason why I like the city of Mondstadt is that its freedom is exactly what my daughter and I could ever hope for. My wish is simple. I want Klee to grow up with a curious yet kind heart. As long as she so desires, she can do anything and go anywhere. So that's it. Well, I must admit that it certainly fits Alice's style. My apologies. I misunderstood. Uh... It must be nice to have a mom who's such a character. Really? Yep. Mom is the bestest mom. Mom, we caught fish, sailed a boat, went swimming, and played a lot of things. Everyone's been super duper amazing and very kind to me. Yeah, we only had to deal with a bunch of hilly churls, a murderous robot, uh, and, you know, all kinds of other weird things, but sure. Next time, you can come with us and we can all play here again. It appears that mother and daughter are kindred spirits, both wild and free. Ah, oh, Summer. Speaking of Summer, when I went to those islands, it also happened to be Summer. Sitting on the beach, listening to the waves roll against my feet, I thought of you. Klee, you are a child of Summer, a present to me from the sea and the wind. Mom is thankful for your birth and wanted to give you something. So, Mom dressed up these islands, transformed the ancient ruins into a summer park, and used the moniker of Dodo King to invite you. In another world, there are tales of a wondrous island named after golden apples. Known by many names, it embodies the majestic vistas conjured by human fantasy. Mom loved that story and wanted you to enjoy the wonderful things in it. So Mom gave you sapphire waters, pearly sands, a fantastical paradise. For you and for those who love you. Huh. So there were only three crystals. Light red like flower petals, light blue like ocean waves, light yellow like autumn leaves. Perhaps from Alice's perspective, this archipelago is the natural fourth crystal. Located in the middle of the sea and covered by plant life, it truly is a lustrous and emerald summer crystal. Klee, just like Mom, you are of a race blessed with longevity. For us, time is like a gust of wind. Moments come and end. In such a long life, parents are but a child's first connection. Even though we don't want to be separated, there will come the day when you must walk your own path. Clee, Mom will always love you, but there are also others by your side. Friends who accompany you, teachers who educate you, people who are willing to stay on an island for you despite knowing how unusual it is. Ah, oh, summer is for everyone. No matter how life changes, no matter how many things happen this year, summer will never disappear, just like the love between people. From now on, regardless of wherever you go, I hope you never forget how many people in this world love you. Oh yes, be sure to listen to Mr. Albedo at home. Mom will regularly return to see you two. Actually, whenever I have a moment to spare, I sneak back to check on you and everyone else. <laughs> Has no one noticed? <laughs> Aunt Alice, the same as ever. Yeah, crazy. You don't think Albedo knew from the start, do you? I suspect he did. Huh? Uh, time's almost up, so I'll stop here. Right, right. I spent a lot of effort on this place, so you all must play your hearts out. Everyone, my darling Klee. See you next time. <laughs> Bye, Mom. 
Ashley seems particularly happy. Dodo King was actually mom. I don't know why, but I am very happy. It doesn't matter if it's mom blowing up Monsat's main gate, or mom getting grounded, or mom writing weird letters. Clee loves her very much. Will you feel lonely without your mother? Nope. Mom is the most strongest mage, so she can keep me company no matter where she is. She never lets me feel lonely. I love Mom this much. <laughs> Mr. Honorary Knight, do you love Klee? Uh, yep. I also love you very much. You have to play with me lots here or else Mom will be disappointed. I still have a lot of jumpy dumpties, and I brought Doroko here too. I'll take you swimming and fish blasting. <sighs> it's always fun when we're with you, Klee. Okay. Hey, come on. Oh, I thought it's that was it. Keep Klee waiting. Come on, let's go. I think that's the last of the story event right here, right? Uh, secret uncovered. <laughs> In the Harpastum Bombs Loaded Blow em Away Challenge, travelers can make use of, the, of Harpastum Bombs to defeat monsters more easily. Harpastum Bombs can only be used within challenge areas. When the Harpastum Bombs are equipped, your elemental skill will be replaced by the ability to throw the bombs. This, there are three kinds of Harpastum Bombs. Shoot, the straight shooters can deal a certain amount of pyro damage to a single monster. Floaty sploders, uh, Sploaties can deal a certain amount of dam uh, pyro damage to multiple monsters, and hot pods deal massive pyro damage. Use the crafting bench to create harpastum bombs. Using these bombs will consume them from your inventory. So pay attention to the amount you have remaining. Okay. So obviously there's uh, challenges there. I'm not going to read those right now. Um, there is something I want to do, though. Check out the... Uh, this right here. So I can get a total of four items. May as well do that very fast. And I don't need much more, do I? Those. So, let's see what's going on over here. Talk to Kaya. So this was Alice's handiwork all along. The letter I received certainly makes a lot more sense now. She's quite a remarkable person. You must meet her if you get the opportunity. Even if she does bring her fair share of trouble with her. Well, then again, I don't mind trouble when it's interesting. Huh? Did I ever guess what was going on, you ask? <laughs> Not a chance. I'm much too naive. I was in the dark the whole time. The way he said that, I don't know, man. Uh, let's see very fast. I just want to make sure that there's nothing else over here that I can trigger. Uh, there should be a... What do you call it? A crafting bench around here. Am I heading in the wrong direction again? Yes, I am. It's up here somewhere. I have to go to the crafting bench in order to be able to make those things. Earth and water, wind and fire, craft for me what I desire. Okay. So, I need to craft uh let's see, I'm gonna craft probably 15 of those. No space left in inventory for another hot pod. Uh, what is, oh, you can only craft one? Maybe you only need to craft one or something. Oh, they give you 20 at a time. That's why. Okay. So, you can probably... You can probably uh, craft a total of three more, right? Yeah. Um, three more of those as well. And then that way I'll have plenty of them for whenever I start doing those challenges. I'm glad that they give you 20 at a time. Okay, now that I've done that, it's time for me to search this island, talk to the people that are here, talk to uh, Jean. 
I had no idea that any of this could have been Alice's creation. Now that I know the truth, there is a certain sweetness to the scenery all around us. Such a beautiful summer. What could be a better gift? Oh, speaking of which, I still have a promise to keep to Klee. Those fish won't blast themselves. Traveler, would you like to take part in a bit of innocent recreation? Uh... Maybe later. Mommy is the bestest person in the whole wide world. Albedo knows. She knows everyone. I'm sure she knows Mr. Honorary Knight. Because Mom can do anything. When she comes back, we have to go and find her. She's a really good person. Mr. Honorary Knight will definitely like her. I don't know. I think she's crazy. But I'm not going to say that to her. I wish they could, but... They at least give me the option to say she's nuts. Okay. Now that I've uh, done that, I don't see either Albedo or d -loop yet. Or Razor, for that matter. I wonder if they're up there. Oh, fishing rods. Can you interact with them? No. That's unfortunate. So they're probably up here somewhere. At least I'm guessing. That or they're on a completely different island. Or they're not even here anymore. Which wouldn't surprise me necessarily, but... Um, okay, so yeah. Uh, let me see something very fast. So that's the last of those quests for those. Um, there's still some side quests related to uh, exploration and stuff. I'm kind of surprised. I was expecting the story quest to go on for a while longer. Uh, let me see. Constructs respect. Okay. I can see that those are done. So I only have how many more conches left? Nine left. Okay. Boats are made for transferring commodities back and forth. There we go. That's a good way to shut them up. Um, so thank you very much for watching. The next time I play, I'm going to start uh, doing these new challenges uh, right here. I'm going to finish up any of these other challenges. I'm going to start exploring more, you know, doing basically what I've always done. I'm surprised that the islands did not raise up a level. I was expecting it to happen. I don't know what what's going on there. Or if it's still going to happen, and I'm just, uh, you know, unaware, I, I don't know. So, yeah, thanks again. See you next time, and bye-bye.